Hey everybody, welcome to another PSPP tutorial. In this tutorial, we're gonna talk about very briefly how to save your output. Okay, saving output, very important. Saving output, very important. It's literally the second video in this series. I, I definitely wanna make sure we do that. And I have some output from some previous recordings that we can use for this, okay? So it's very important to save your output. Now, the output window basically contains everything that you've done, everything that you've done, and it's on this sidebar here. And because I have this window that's so big, um, we can just see it, and it's it's all of this stuff. It's all of this. Now, it's from some other SPV uh, stuff that I, I looked at from this data set that we've had open, but let's go ahead and save the output. So while we're here, we have this data that I want to make sure I don't lose. So we go up to file and we can go up to print and we can use the data print, the output print module. And instead of, of using my printers, we can print to file and it will save it as a PDF. OK, you can also save it as a postscript or an SVG file so that you can do that. So you can either literally print it on paper, you can print to file, which um, uh, you can. You have three options to do. Most people will probably do PDF, which you can then um, import into Word and then also do that way. But instead of doing that, let's cancel that and let's go up to file and export. Now you can also export it, okay? And I'm just gonna export it to my desktop. So everyone has the, uh, we can do this. Yep, I want to be able to give it this volume or access to my computer because Macs these days, everything needs, ask, everything needs for everything. Okay, um, and you can save it as one of these. Infer file type from extension. So, we're going to make it explicit so we can ex save it as the SPSS viewer file, right? Which if we have SPSS and we were just dabbling in some PSPP, maybe on some other per person's computer, we could save it as SPV so we can open it on our SPSS later. You can save it as a PDF. You could st also do that in the print function. You could save it as an HTML file. So if you want to show it on the interwebs or something like that. You can save it as an open document format, ODT, open document format. So this is a format for all types of documents and ODT can be read by a number of different, uh, number of different productivity suites. So you could use that. You could save it as a plain text file, TXT. You can save it, uh, or uh, this would be a rich text file, sorry. Um, or the plain text file, make sure if you uh, want to do a rich text to have like bolds and, and other things available uh, and not just the text itself, you would choose this one and not the plain text one. Uh, plain text strips all formatting away. You could save it as a postscript file. Again, you can print it to a postscript um, or you can save it as a CSV and these tables will then, uh, so like this table here will then occupy a certain number of cells that you could then open in um, Excel and put them in cells. And you're just separated by commas. So if you opened a CSV file in the plain text editor, it would just have the numbers separated by commas, right? So that's how you would do it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna save it as a PDF and we're just gonna uh, call it uh, test. I'm, and then I'm gonna click save and then I'm gonna open the PDF for you all just, just so you could see it. Uh, and so I'm gonna open this PDF and I'm gonna drag it over to this window so you can all see it. Okay, there we go. So here it is in my PDF viewer, okay. Um, uh, Adobe Acrobat Pro DC, and here it is. It has all of the uh, stuff. Now, uh, one of the biggest problems with it is the, is formatting, of course. So you know you can't 
there's a lot of syntax here that takes up a lot of space. So just realize that. But really what you want to do is look at the tables because that's really what you're looking for, right? The tables. Just remember that these tables, same with the default SPSS tables, are not in SPSS or APA style. So you'd still have to change them. I do have a video for that. Uh, the card will probably appear at some point above uh, at the at the very top, I don't left or right somewhere around there. Um, if you want to learn how to change this information to APA style, a, a lovely APA table. So there, there you go. That's how you would um, export your data. Um, again, if you want to manipulate it in Excel, like if you want to take this table and manipulate it in Excel, save it as a CSV open up the CSV in Excel. That's going to be it for this tutorial. Please leave a like if you like this content. Please consider subscribing if you're interested in more PSPP tutorials. They're on their way to this channel. Thanks for watching.